But I've kind of run out of time today. I have to uh, get some building done and finish up this episode so I can get it out on time. So let's not... F oh, there we go. What's up, Wanderers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Planet Nomads Let's Play. Last video, we started our base right over there. This video, we are going to be talking about a dun -dun -dun -dun, new update. One particular block that I'm quite excited about, and some other little, you know, bells and whistles that are, you know, have improved the game. Um, if you end up enjoying the video, please remember to give it a like. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. So you can see right here that I've actually moved out some things from this base. I still have my... Uh, my greenhouse and my food machine and my stasis chamber, which I accidentally got into, um, all right here, and they're all powered, which is nice, but I moved some stuff over here. Now, why did I move stuff over here? Well, let's go over the update notes, first of all. Um, they're pretty quick. I've took, I've taken about three quarters of them down, the ones I'm most, I'm most interested in. If you guys want to see full update notes, uh, make sure you go check out the forums. Okay, they've added a field of view slider, which I'm really happy about. I actually upped my field of view. Uh, where is it? It's under... Where is it? Gameplay options, right? Yep. First person field of view and third person field of view. It was on 50, now it's on 60 and 65. I kind of like these field of views. I think they're pretty good, and I'm really happy about that. Um, they've also added key bindings available. Customize your controls as you see fit. Basic controller support added. It does not work in menus and inventories yet. Item dispenser added. That's the thing we're going to talk about. I'm not going to. I'm not even going to mention any more about that just yet because that's going to be the main focus of the beginning of this video. Um, they added manual save slash load in survival, and basically that's to allow another way to recover vehicles until they find a fix. So that's a really nice, um, really nice thing that they did. That's. You know, basically, if you're going out with your vehicle, save the game, you know? All right. Um, Multi-tool battery cannot be crafted in a medium 3D printer. Build vision on or off effect temporarily changed to increase performance. Yeah, the build vision is a little weird. Um, it just, it's kind of weird. And um, I think it's a temporary fix. Um, improved vision coming back soon. Uh, slightly decreased degeneration of player attributes in the starting biomes. Okay. So here we go, guys. I moved everything over here because there is a new item right here. And like I said, it is called the item dispenser and what the item dispenser does is let me show you um first of all i've got a generator here i've got a medium 3d printer and i've got some uh pneumatic tubes going to this big old large storage and i want you to pay attention okay in my there we go in my inventory i have nothing except for food water and batteries but my large container has plating mark ones and you know basic frames and stuff like that so, if I come over here and I go to build, check it out. Again, I don't have anything in my inventory, right? We'll check out on the, on the top left-hand side. I actually do not have to have the stuff in my inventory anymore. Isn't that awesome? This thing right here is basically... It has like it has an area of effect, so it's not like that that far. Like if I go like right, look, take a look at the top left hand side. Okay, if I go right here, there we go. That's the, that's the edge of the uh, of the item. So it looks like it's about one, two, three, four, five, six. It's about six tiles of foundation. So. Um, yeah, so I, I'm gonna have some trouble doing some building over here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend this thing All right, all right, we're gonna extend this thing So let's go into our build menu and we're gonna use the pneumatic tubes and we are going to have them go up in the air Because I don't want them being in my way So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this one right here and we are going to place it like no not like that Press X to change the axis by the way. We're gonna go like that And then we're gonna kind of get up here And we're gonna go like uh, X X there we go. Again, I don't want this stuff to be in the way as I'm building. So right there. All right. And I think you can see what we're doing here. We're going to place this little magical item dis item dispenser. Uh, we're going to kind of place it more towards the middle of the base. I'm thinking I probably want it about right... Probably about right here. So, um, all right. So let's go ahead and do this and this. Now, these, these pneumatic tubes are expensive. Um, they're actually really expensive, but um, I'm okay with it. I think this is going to be a cool, a cool idea. And uh, let's just put this right about here. What I say, like right here, All right, a couple more. There we go. And let's turn it now. Nope, not like that. Like this. And kind of bring it out here. It's not exactly where I wanted it to be, but it'll be okay. All right, that should be good. Now let's try and upgrade these things. <laughs> 
Now, don't forget, um, I do not have to have these items in my inventory as long as they're in the box that is connected to the item dispenser. These little things right here are little like um, openings. And if you hook something into them, they will be fed through the tubes or into the item dispenser. And that's that's basically what's going on right here. Okay, so we need more plating MK1s. Um, I think I'm, I didn't make any more. Okay, so plating MK1s, how, can I, how many can I make? Let's just make 70. Um, we're probably going to go out and do some harvesting at some point today too. Uh, we, you know, we really can't avoid it because we just need a lot of materials. We need a lot of materials. So as that stuff's being made, as that plating's being made, you can see right here, I can just use it. Watch as another one, another one was just made. So that's pretty cool, right? I mean, I think that's a really, really awesome awesome addition as you can see these things are really expensive on mechanical parts as well the cool thing about the pneumatic tubes is when we take them down we'll get 100 percent back so we're not really wasting anything you know what guys i was actually gonna wait for these to be crafted but let's go out and start farming now to hell with it right um yeah we got a lot more plating coming in we got a lot more of these 35 why don't you go ahead and make another 20 i guess why not oh we can only make 10 that's fine another 10 and we've used all our resources what what did we use all of um, nothing. Why could I only make another 10? I don't know. Whatever. We need more resources. Let's go and get more resources. And we'll wait for that stuff to craft up while we're gone. I think that base is going to come out really nice. And those item dispensers are just freaking, just genius. Just genius. All right. So let's go. Uh, let's go to the right this time because we went that way last time. So let's go over here and uh, see what we can find. The, the only thing I hate getting in this game is plant materials. I hate getting... I hate taking time to get, uh, what is it called? Um, I forget what it's called. I hate, I hate trying to get the, um, uh, the fruits and the vegetables and or whatever, and the, the seeds. It's the only thing I really don't like. And the biomass, biomass, that's what I, I hate getting. It's just, I don't know. I just don't find it very fun. Like, look, oh, I shoot this. And yeah, I got some biomass. Maybe it's because you don't get a lot of biomass. It doesn't seem like there's a way to get... All right, that's fine. It doesn't seem like there's a way to get a lot of biomass, right? Maybe that's what it is. All right, I'm going to get biomass off camera because honestly, I find it really, really tedious. <laughs> it's the only thing I find tedious getting in this game, to be perfectly honest. All right, so we got a couple special nodes right here. So that is really nice. We got one of those guys over there. He might be a problem. We also got to start working on um, upgrading our... Oh, boy. We also got to start working on upgrading our items, our suit, and our, you know... Okay, so I did get some biomass out of there. All right, these guys are annoying. Are they going to be a problem? Maybe. Oh, boy. I wonder if I can run them over. I really don't want to deal with them, to be honest. I don't need their meat, so... Look at me. I got caught up on my vehicle. Whatever, bro. Peace out, bro. I'm going to try and run this guy over. Oh, I missed. He got out of the way. No, we got Rocky over there. How about, a, how about uh, developers, how about a real gun? Can I get a real gun, like so, a projectile, so I could use against these guys? That would be really nice. Right, I'm going to grab this, because I do need to get a lot more of these seeds and herbs and stuff. Apparently, I'm starving number three. I'm not starving anymore. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. I do have, I do have plenty of food and stuff on me. I can make food on the road. Uh, I think we're good to go here. Let's go ahead and grab some biomass right there. It's easy biomass, and let's get going. Do you guys enjoy watching me farm? I need to know. Um, because, you know, I don't really know if this is interesting or not. Honestly, I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, I find it interesting to do, but that doesn't always mean you guys are going to find it interesting to watch. So let me know what you, let me know what you think in the comments. All right. There we go. And let's come on up here. All right. What do you got for me? What do you got? Come on. Give me some fat loot, bro. There we go. There's some bio. E even with these, you don't get a lot of biomass. I mean, seven? Like, <laughs> I need more biomass. Please. Please. All right, there we go. These are easy to get. Oh, yeah, see, these are, these are easy. All right, where's that vehicle? There we go. Okay, so I did turn off the light on my base, but apparently um, what I did was I went up to that, like, solar beacon, and I turned the light off because it was really bright and annoying, and I meant to turn it back on before I left. But I did not turn it back on before I left. But it's still showing up on my map. So, you know, no big deal, I guess, right? All right, we gotta, we gotta fill this thing up. We've got a bunch of, I got a bunch of batteries with me, so that's good. Uh, any more easy biomass? Yeah, there we go. Okay, guys, I am way up here, well, way down here in the south. 
and I'm just uh, came across this hill and I'm climbing up. I'm uh, looking for some specific materials and only finding certain things. Um, I'm looking for a titanium. Someone said you have to go like 6.5k away uh, to find like the really, really far places and I'm only like 1k away. So um, yeah, we might have to, you know, there's, there's some problems with this vehicle that we're going to have to sort out eventually. So let me just get out right now and uh, I don't see Rocky around, which is kind of odd. Usually Rocky defends these things. So I'm not sure where he is, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to uh, take advantage of it and grab this stuff. So yeah, we got some problems with the mobile vehicle. We're going to have to rebuild it a little bit. Um, I will show you what's going on with it when I get away from any hostile creatures. So get out of the way. Don't, don't hit my vehicle, you jerk. You know, this thing isn't insured, all right? All right? I don't have any insurance. Just back off. Back off, Rocky. All right. So as you can see here, we are heading south. I wonder if I can get right into my stasis chamber from, without getting out. No, you can't. <laughs> that would be funny. If you can go right from your um, cockpit to your stasis chamber. All right. So, we, yeah, we got some problems with this uh, vehicle. Let me find something to harvest in a somewhat safe area, and then we will talk about it. Because I want to I want to get out to... To um, show you what the problem is with this vehicle. Man, I'm not finding a lot of stuff to harvest here. Oh, here we go. There we go. Alright, so check this out, guys. This is what I have a problem with, with this vehicle. Uh, the They changed the compact food machine thing. Uh, none of the stuff the compact FAD machine can make, I want. This is all crap. So, we're going to have to put a better food machine on the back of this thing. Before we can go out really far. I'm also thinking about getting some kind of 3D printer on there. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'd like to be able to, re like, repair my vehicle if need be. Although, I don't see any reason to need to repair my vehicle. So, you know, I really don't want to put the, the the 3D printer on the back of the um, vehicle. Because it's going to make the vehicle a lot bigger than I want it to be. And um, I kind of like the fact that this vehicle is lean. It's a lean, lean mean fighting machine driving machine whatever you want to call it i like the fact that it's so compact and and if i put like a, a big ass you know 3d printer on there it's gonna you know it's just gonna make the thing huge and um i don't want that i, I hear one of those um one of those uh i don't know what you call it crystal vibrating thingies over here so let's see if we can get on over there i also see some materials over here i'm gonna want to get and it looks like we got ourselves stuck i'm not gonna worry about that right now we will just come on over here and start mining out some materials. So what are these? All right, carbon and iron. Okay. Actually, I need carbon and iron, so I'm okay. I'm okay with that. It's not titanium, but that is that is a okay with me. All right, let's grab these. Oh, there's there's rocks everywhere here. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. So let's check out this. Let's get let's get some of these rocks, man. Carbon and iron for days, people. We need it. That's what we need to build with, you know? Oh, check out what I just found. Found a tree with a bunch of... Oh, it was only one piece of fruit. All right, so there was a bunch of little pieces of fruit on this tree. And when I picked one, I got like three pieces of fruit. So I was thinking I could get a lot of fruit from that tree. But no, it was only, um, it was only one piece of fruit. I am actually heading home. Uh, I wanted to do some more farming. But I've kind of run out of time today. I have to uh, get some building done and finish up this episode so I can get it out on time. So let's not... F oh, there we go. And that's why we load games. There's my load. There we go. She wanna Yes, I do. Okay. So I'm going to lose a few things here because I did load uh, and then I got a few materials, but I'm not going to worry about it. I just want to get home, to be perfectly honest. So I will see you guys back at base. All right, guys, we are back at base. I went ahead and parked right here, moved everything into here. Um, you know what would be really cool? If we had some kind of auto-sort thing, like in Seven Days to Die, that would be pretty nice. But, uh, we came over here, I went ahead and did the rest of the pneumatic tubes, and now we are going to put in the, I can't forget the name of it, the item dispenser. So, I don't know if it can be, I don't know if it matters what way the item dispenser is pointing, but we're going to put it in right there. Then we're going to take this one out, and then we're going to see if this worked. Yep, it worked. So, I mean... Let's, let's try and put some stuff down over here. Might as well keep, continue building. Okay, so do we want to put windows here? Uh, I think I do. Well, let me go ahead and move all of this stuff out. And replace it with the blocks I want for this. And that will be for... Uh, there we go. Basic. Okay, so. 
Uh, number one will be reinforced wall. We'll put all the walls in a row. Windowed wall. Uh, wall with a light. All right, so that's uh, all three of those. Then we'll put in the corner and then the reversed corner. Now we'll put, we'll move those over here and we'll put in the, uh, the wall short. This is basically like a fill in thing and we'll put that right there. Okay. So we want a window right here. So let's go ahead and put that down. And we have uh, one basic frame. Is that on me? It is. Okay. So it doesn't seem like we, that is within range. Let's move this stuff over here and see what's in range and what isn't. Okay, so that's within range, within range. Okay, so it's right out of range. So right there, should be okay. I could actually just place it down from here. Come on, a little trickier, but I can do it. All right, and we could build these up. So we got to come over here to build it. So yeah, a little bit out of range, a little bit out of range, but I think it's going to be okay. All right, so we need some lights in here as well. So let's go ahead and put the light, the light wall. That is not the light wall. Um, that's the regular wall, that's the wall with the window, and that's the wall with the light. It's Oh, it doesn't take, yeah, okay. I was looking for electronic parts for the wall with the light, but it doesn't take electronic parts to put it down. It only takes electronic parts at that point. So should I put another window here? I don't think I'm going to put another window here. I think this would be fine for a wall. There we go. I got to tell you, I can't, exp I can't explain to you guys how important it is that I can take things down and get 100% of the materials back. It really allows me to do a, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of experimenting, you know, which is really key for a new game, <laughs> you know, so. Okay. Oh, that, okay. I was wondering what this, that little thing on the bottom right hand side was. That is when you're within range of the item dispenser. So if you come over here, see on the bottom right hand side, right above my multi-tool, the little like, um, I guess that's like a Wi-Fi signal that should go away right there. See? So that lets you know. Very cool. Very cool. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, let's go ahead and uh, finish this. Finish the wall. Well, we don't want to finish the door just yet because we don't have a generator. Well, we do have a generator over here. I, I don't know how, the range of the generator. So let's see if we can power. Let's see how far this generator can go. It'll turn red when you've gone too far. Um, at least I think it would. I don't know. Maybe not. All right. Oh, yeah, there we go. See, it's red. I guess that's too far. Wait, how close does the generator have to be? Huh. Generator has to be that close, or am I missing something here? That seems like that generator should be close enough, doesn't it? That's not that far away. All right, well, it is what it is. I guess we'll, um... I really don't want to put anything in here, because stuff gets in the way. I think what we're going to do is... We are going to go to energy and we're going to use batteries, okay? Now, the thing is with batteries, you can actually use the batteries to power stuff in your base, but they, they are very weak and you might have to put a couple batteries on the thing at once. Um, but the cool thing about the batteries is they don't take up a lot of space, so I can just use them to power certain things. So let's see what we can do here. This is another tip from my buddy Fohammer. Um, it shouldn't be gather. Gather? I don't know why that's gather. Shouldn't be. Um, okay. Gather. Is that gathering water or the battery? It's gathering water. Hmm. I don't know what the deal is with this battery then. Huh, okay. Well, whatever. All right, let's finish this uh, right there. And let's pick this up because obviously it's not going to work there for some reason. So let's try and put down another battery. Can't we put it on the wall or something? That would be nice if we could put it on the wall. Oh, boy. So we can only put it on the ground, and then it's not going to allow us to work with it. Yeah. Let's try one more time. Let's try it one more time. I don't think this is going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay. Yeah, now let's see. No, it's not working. All right, well, whatever. Maybe maybe you can't use the battery. Maybe maybe I was told you could use the battery, but you can't. Let's uh, Let's try a battery over here. Yeah, it's telling me to gather water. I'm not really sure why it's doing that. Uh, well, let's put a battery up here. See if that helps. Maybe it's because it's on the ground that it's a problem. Not really sure. 
All right, how we got this? Oh, there we go. It's because it was on the ground. Ooh, that's that kind of sucks. <laughs> Um, well, how can we get it off the ground? Do we have any kind of, like, tables or anything? I don't think we have any kind of, like, furniture in the game that I'm aware of. So that kind of blows. Um, well, uh, can we put a block down? Yes, we can. All right, we'll do that. That's all right. I can live with that. Put that on the block. Can't put it on the block until it's built, I guess. There we go. And number seven. Wait. There we go. I was going to say, why can't I put it on the block? What's up? Okay. There we go. C. Uh, wait, what? C. There we go. Connect. Nope, not working. Why isn't it working? Maybe you can't use it. Maybe I was uh, lied to. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. All right, C. Connect electricity. Oh, it connected to that one. It's kind of weird. Is it because it's too close, or...? I'm not sure why this isn't working. Or it's kind of working, but not really. Maybe it's just not made to be used with a battery. So it's kind of, like, wonky. Connect. Oh, it is connected. Okay, cool. So can I connect it to this one? No. Why not? I don't know. Battery's kind of work. Maybe it's too close. Maybe it's too close. Let's try one more time. Connect. No. Nope, not working. All right. Well, whatever. All right. Well, let's uh, let's put a battery over here as well. Eight, and we just won't put it. Basically, what we'll do is we won't put the batteries right next to the lights. Because I'm thinking that the reason it's not working is because it was too close to the light. That's the only thing I can think of. Because it worked with the other lights. Faux hammer, if you've got any ideas, let me know, buddy. You're the expert. <laughs> Alright, so let's put this one down. And let's go right here and see. Connect. Boom. Okay. Should we put a light on the other side? I'm not really sure. We'll have to see how strong the lights are before I make that commitment. Okay, so there we go. So we got some lights up. The door is working. That's nice. I'm actually going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one right here. I'm going to move this one over. So we're going to put this one right here. And then we will put the um, battery on top of it. Shut up timer. We're not done yet. Put the battery on top. Then we'll come over here. Oh, come on. Nutrition level dropping. Shut up! I don't need any food! Why are you telling me nutrition level of 55%? Like, that's, that's too close. I don't need to worry about nutrition. At 55%, lady. Alright, connect. 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 Okay, now we got it working. Very good. And it takes up very little room, and it makes it so I can build and not have to worry about it. And we got some light, and everything's great. And it's all coming up cage. Okay. Alright, so let's continue here. Let's put down a... Well... Let's come on over here and let's start building out this way again. Uh, now, do I want to have this? Do I want to have this as like a little side area right here with really nothing in it? Or do I want to put down foundations and really make this place big? I need to start thinking about my staircase up to the second level. Staircases in this game are really, really fudging messed up. Um, they, they're not really fudging messed up. They kind of work, but they're very finicky. And I think they need to be looked at because I don't, I don't think they're where they need to be at the moment. But... Let's go ahead and put down some more foundations here. We are still within our Wi-Fi spot. I love the Wi-Fi icon. That is so cool. That is so cool. All right, let's get rid of this. Nope, this one's out of line. So let's put this down right here. Number nine. I think uh, next video I'm going to start thinking about where the staircase is going to go. Staircase has got to be my number one concern because the build is going to is going to rely heavily on where the staircase is. And the reason the staircase... I will explain this to you this video but i'm probably gonna explain it next video as well the reason the staircase is so important is because when you put a roof on this right the roof right here goes up one block there's a block here and it's a roof right so if you put the staircases right next to that then you have an area here with no block and it doesn't work right the staircase will be right here but there's no like very small block we could put there to seal off this part of the base it's very hard to explain 
And if you've ever played this game, you know exactly what I'm talking about if you tried to build a second story. And if you don't, I will uh, work on it, and um, I'll explain it better to you next video. But I think we really need to work on the staircase. I think that's going to be our next thing. All right, guys, I'm going to call this one here. I will see you next time, and until then, take it easy.